in the old world that if you were a, a man and you were doing a job that maybe wasn't in and of itself hugely fulfilling, it, you still got fulfillment from it because it was the way you were looking after your family. And so the 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 fulfillment was was secondary in that sense, but you you could take pride and purpose from the fact that this was a bread you know a breadwinning role, and it, without this you doing this job, whether you like, love it or hate it, that your family wouldn't be able to eat or have a roof over their heads. But that's of course not so true anymore. And it's interesting. I got very interested in this research on self complexity, which I kind of flick at a little bit in the book, and I think is right. It could be up your street because what it talks about is the, the the different ways that yourself can get meaning and identity, and the more ways there are, the more complex yourself is. And what we see is quite a big gender gap, and so there's much more self complexity for women, especially now, because they're actually they can get sources of identity from different domains, right? So women have expanded the range of roles they can kind of f- fill. And what it means is that if you're unfulfilled in one domain, then maybe there's compensating fulfillment in another domain, right? So put it at its bluntest, you're a terrible day at work, but you're still a good mom or vice versa. And, and actually men have much less self-complexity. And again, it's this, this cultural lag thing, which is like, okay, where are you getting your sense of fulfillment? Where are you getting your sense of self from? And there is this rise of what some scholars have called the haphazard self, which is men sort of DIYing their self. And of course, that sounds great in, in theory, but in practice, it's incredibly hard to DIY a self without signposts, without cultural institutions around you. And, I, and I, that, that's why Jordan Peterson and others are doing so well, because there's a hunger for purpose, fulfillment, and structure. The danger is that we get dragged backwards. The danger is that some of the polemics from those sorts of quarters are essentially saying, it's the fault of feminism. We need to go back to back when men were real men. We warned you this would happen. And so as a bring backery to some of their rhetoric. And that seems to me to be entirely uh, immoral and, and impractical. <laughs> so, so we got to do better. Yeah. And it speaks from a place of more competition between men and women, right? It's putting us back now, exactly, in a zero-sum mindset. And I think that's really hard for a lot of men to wrap their head around is, well, I don't really feel like that's a great answer to what's going on either, but I'm aware that there's a problem. What we're seeing also is this idea of the breadwinner now being shared. So in a family setting, you may have a spouse who earns the same, if not more than you. And as you talk about in the book, for a lot of men, their roles are actually more likely to be replaced by automation and immigrants and workforce replacement and offshoring of these jobs that men typically fulfilled. So we're now competing for a subset of jobs with a workplace environment that's bringing and welcoming more and more women into it. And yet men culturally are taught to be the provider protector. And when you can't fulfill that role and you have a lack of self-complexity, you don't find fulfillment in other areas, well, then you can be radicalized by some of these elements that are preaching go backwards and take a very dim view of the opposite sex and and be zero sum game, which is also very worrisome. And we hear this from some of our potential clients as well of like, oh, I I wish it was how it was 30, 40 years ago, right? And they want to undo all of the progress that's been made because they think, well, back then things were easier. Of course, there's a whole other host of challenges there. But I think we're now getting on this, this workplace. 